Okay, namaste everyone. My name is really hard to pronounce. It doesn't fit on my name, but it doesn't fit on my license actually. And so they just call me Saab, like the car. And I play the Murdangam, which is about a 3,000 year old instrument from ancient India, and it's used in the Carnatic music. Hey everyone, I'm, I'm a guitarist that plays music that's older than the guitar itself. My name is Avye, I'm a senior at South Brunswick High School, and my dream is to, cre my dream is to create art, to create worlds for people to immerse themselves in with my music. So a little bit about the Mrtangam. Uh, so basically, it's a, as I mentioned before, it's a ancient Indian instrument. And so these are the basic parts of the Mrdangam. So on the right side over here, or as modeled over here also, uh, we have a black circle, and that circle is made of um, manganese oxide, and, and they cook rice, and they mix the manganese oxide, and they make a little paste out of it, and then they just rub it on the thing. And that whole side is made of uh, goat skin and a female, it's made from a female cow. And then we got these little braces on the side, also known as varu in Tamil. Uh, and that's also made of like buffalo skin. And then on the left side of the Mridangam, we have a, the, it's also made of buffalo skin again. And to make, to cover our, the varu, we usually just have a little thing called the chatte. And that's what decorates the Mridangam. So the Mridangam has influenced a lot of Indian drums. So for example, these are ones that you may have heard of, the dol, the tabla, and the dolak. So I think the most significant one that people might have heard of is tabla. And that was, that was influenced by the Mridangam just by cutting the Mridangam in half, and then you got yourself a tabla. So I'll give it to my friend Avi here who will introduce his part. So I play Carnatic music on the electric guitar and Carnatic music, it's a, it's like an, it's an ancient form of Indian music that's been around for hundreds to thousands of years. And guitar wasn't really ever accepted into the community until very, very like recently because the thing with Carnatic music is that when people perform in an ensemble for Carnatic music, it's only like four to five people on stage. So there's no, there's usually just like one lead artist in Carnatic performances and that's what we call a monophonic sound. There's, in Western music, you have usually what's polyphonic music. Okay, so then what makes the Mridangam so special to this Carnatic music is this thing called Nadam. So if we take a basic, um, if we take a basic rhythm, so if we take a basic Congo rhythm that is like this, That's basically, it sounds like a congo. It sounds like a drum. It, it sounds like a drum that you would know of. But what, dis what distinguishes the mridangam from other drums is this thing called nadam. And base in basic English terms, that would be a soothing sound. Right now, this is an E, a harmonic pitch, which most drums do not have. So if we maybe take that same conga rhythm and if we put nadam to it, we can make it. That would be basic nadam. So me and Avi have put a performance together combining uh, the guitar and mridangam and we want to take you into two worlds, the past and the present and the east to the west. Thank you. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.